Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are updating our kitchen faucet sink and our cabinet hardware. You may be wondering, why are you updating your cabinet hardware? You may notice behind us, we already have knobs on our cabinets. We worked with the builder for our home. This wasn't a custom build where you basically design and pick out absolutely everything on your own. Um, when you work with a specific builder, sometimes you have to pick out finishes and hardware from their design center. And if you do not care for their options, then you will find yourself in our situation where then you have to change some things once you move in. We asked if they could just leave the cabinets blank and not add the hardware in and they said no. So we are now replacing it, um, which is fine by us. We really wanted this kitchen space to really feel like us. Um, this is our kitchen. This is where we film our recipe videos. We film so much of our content. It's really basically, not basically, it is our home office. And so having it, you know, really look the way that we wanted to was really important to us. This is basically as much of a dream home as we're gonna get. This is where we wanna be for a really long time. And um, so it was important to us that it really kind of felt like home, it felt like us. And it's amazing how just changing a few finishes, um, such as the, the hardware on your cabinets or swapping out a kitchen faucet sink can just completely transform a space and just make it feel so different. So first things first, let's change out that kitchen faucet sink. First things first, when you're doing a project like this, you've got to look the part. Coveralls are by far the most comfortable clothing I have ever worn. And if it was socially acceptable, I would probably wear them everywhere. More importantly, our new faucet. We went with the Messino Mia that we got from build.com. It is a single handle pull down in flat black. It's a great looking faucet, but it's also really well built. The whole body is made from solid brass and you can feel the quality in it just by how heavy it is. Before I can install the new faucet, I have to remove the old one. And with my daughter directing me, I turned off and disconnected the water lines. Then I removed the spray hose weight and disconnected the spray hose itself so that I could remove the whole spray hose handle and assembly. Next, I used this handy dandy plastic wrench, which long story short, I had to chase the builder down to get. Luckily, he still had it. Otherwise, I don't think I would have even been able to remove the old faucet because it is really tight behind our farmhouse sink. Finally, everything was disconnected and I could remove the old faucet and install our new one. With this Messino faucet, the braided hoses are more like seamlessly integrated into the body of the faucet, so it was a lot easier to get in than the old one was to get out. Once the faucet was lined up, I tightened everything into place and reconnected the water lines, added the spray hose weight, and turned the water back on. Here it is installed, and yes, we do know that the handle is designed to go to the side of the faucet, but we like it pointing forward, and hey, it's our dream home after all. This faucet is awesome. It has your basic stream of water as well as a spray, and the hose is really long and glides smoothly. It also has this nifty feature of a pause button, Overall, it was an easy installation and we love the faucet. And now onto knobs and pulls. Next, we updated the kitchen hardware. And by we, I mean Aaron. He did a really good job swapping out all the knobs. And what we ended up going with is a combo of knobs and pulls. The reason for this is because we already had knobs in place. And so it was really easy to trade out a knob for a knob. Um, however, with the pulls, we needed to add an extra hole, drill an extra hole um, to add that pull. If we would have done pulls with every single cabinet that just would have been more holes to drill. And so we were trying to just eliminate that um, and keep it more simple. So that's why we did a combo of the knobs and the poles. And um, here's a little look at the project. The kitchen came standard with these small chrome knobs on all the doors and drawers. And aside from just not being our style, they felt too small in your hand. So we swapped them out for a hardier knob on all the drawers and then square bar poles on all the doors.
Since we're removing all the chrome from the kitchen, we also swapped out the pantry doorknob for a black one. Our next project we are working on is a hood for our kitchen stove. I feel like these just really transform the kitchen and they seem simple enough to build if you know how to build, which Aaron does. He's super handy and I keep going back and forth if I want something that looks more modern, more farmhouse. While I would say that we have that modern farmhouse feel, I don't want every single thing in the house to be like farmhouse, farmhouse, farmhouse. I do like more sleek lines, some modern, things that are classic. I don't want to get sick of something. So I'm, I started out with more of like a farmhouse inspiration for the hood and now I'm leaning more towards kind of like a modern sleek look. We'll see what we end up with, but that's an upcoming project. And another project is off to my side here. We have this really amazing kitchen nook that um, we had cabinets and countertop put in below. And then we left the rest of the wall blank so that we could do what we wanted. We're probably gonna do some type of feature wall, some type of open shelving. So I'm really excited for that as well. So far what we've collected for this wall are these two amazing sconce lights from build.com. So I love these lights and I'm really excited to put them up. That'll be in an upcoming video. Lots more to share with you guys. And we have so many other projects to share with you. Um, we wanna build a playhouse in the backyard for Ella. We're gonna put in a fireplace um, in our living room and so many other things. So I'm really excited to keep this series going. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Um, I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.